Hello and welcome back to the channel and today Basestoke Town travel to Uxbridge in an Espion South Central for fixture, one that we're very much looking forward to. It's definitely a six pointer if we can grab the big uh, win today. Um, so with me once again, as usual, is Gemma. Hello. So um, massive game this, we come off the back of a 0-0 draw of Chertsey and Bracknell, um, a 0-0 result against Chertsey away, then a home 1-0 loss against the league high flyers Bracknell last Saturday. So against those top sides, one point out of possible six, not great. Um, we come here to Arxbridge today, another team who have cemented themselves in these playoff positions very, very well all season long, it has to be said. Um, it's going to be a tough test. Um, they've got a good team um, of players that serve we. Um, hoping Lynch will be back today. We do miss him, don't we, Gemma? Mm. Scoring the goals up front. Like I said, up front we have been, um, we have been very good um, defensively, absolutely superb. And Strudley's been great as ever. But it's just lacking those uh, opportunities in the final third that's let us down. So hopefully today we can we can break that and uh, we can uh, get get three points. So Gemma, what are your what's your prediction for today? I'm going with a two-one win. Two-one win. I'll go with. I reckon it'd be one-one. But but who needs to say we can't win two-one? We need the three points today desperately. Desperately need those three points. Um, but yeah, Uxbridge are a very good side. But anyway, we'll see how it goes. Hopefully, for a good day. And look, we found seats. Not often we get to uh, sit down during the warm-up, but um, yeah, it's not a bad gaff, is it? Got undercover, got undercover stands behind both goals, which is good. Got two stands opposite the sidelines, so that's good to see. Not a bad little non-league ground, this. Got burgers in the corner there, because, because why not? No programmes, though, but um, overall, yeah, not a bad little ground, this. <laughs>
What a win! Yeah, fantastic win for Basingstoke Town as we beat Uxbridge away two goals to nil. What a fantastic result um, at the hands of a goal from Stefan Brown, Brown in the first half and then a second half goal from Lloydie Snell. What a, what a great day it was, um, both the game and the atmosphere. Um, what I will say, obviously, up front, we were fantastic today, a lot better. Um, got a, it's worth saying, unlucky to a certain Brad Wilson, isn't it? Yeah, just wasn't going for him. Every chance he had, he just fell for him, really. Yeah, yeah, he could have put two or three goals in today, but unfortunately none of them went in, but oh well. Next time, Brad, against Tooting, I'm sure they're going for you. He'll probably score six and nine him against uh, Tooting <laughs> next week away from home. Um, but yeah, up front, much better performance. And defensively, wow, what a team. Seriously, this is not the same team defensively that we had so many months ago. I mean, we were scoring goals, but shipping them in as well. But now... Defensively, with real rock solid, um, conceding just one goal in three games against um, top teams in this division. It's fantastic. Um, it's worth mentioning in the first half, they had a man sent off, um, so we had that extra man advantage. Second half, we didn't start off as well as the first half, but um, but again, we got going eventually, and Lloyd Snell cementing us to try and get that win near the end of the game. Absolutely brilliant. Like I said, the atmosphere as well was incredible. A huge lot of base that fans there, and it was a whole lot of. Unexpectedly, it was my highlights of the season atmosphere wise because Oxbridge haven't got a big fan base, they've probably got about 100 or so people, um, and certainly that showed in terms of their non existent atmosphere. But um, we brought up a lot of fans, and it was fantastic. I um, don't know what more to say. I mean, it puts us in the playoff position now nice, nicely. We're now a fourth, I think, now, just out of Bedfont Sports, are possibly. Um, Hanwell. Some other huge scorelines in this division as well today. Um, I think, what was the result? Was Faction, didn't they win 6 2 against Staines, I think, and possibly Bedford won 6 0 against uh, Mood they play, Chalfont, and they're one of the relegation contenders as well, along with Staines Town. But um, overall, fantastic today. The players were loving it, weren't they, Gemma? The players mm. were, were buzzing after that win, which is fantastic. Well, is, it Will is it Williamson? Williams, I think it might be Williams. He come and, he come and change absolutely, <laughs> absolutely loving life, and that's what football's about. You know, he wasn't playing, so just go for it, go mad. Um, I don't know what else to say. Um, it's not a bad little ground, um, not the best, but not the, not the worst. Uh, I've seen worse grounds this season. Um, I don't think there's anything else worth mentioning, really. Can I just say I like video and the clips again? Yeah, and generally got some good clips today, including. Uh, getting the, the clip of the Lloyd Snell's goal. But yeah, next week, it's a wet Tooting and Mitcham. We beat them at the um, at the home fixture, 3-2. Uh, so that was a great game, but I think we should try and win the, get these three points today. But overall, great effort from the team, especially defensively. I, I, I can't believe how good we are defensively now. It's fantastic to see. Um, but this is what I love about Bayside Town. You know, the fact that the players love it, the manager loves it. Um, we are giving it 110% on and, off, on and off the pitch, which is fantastic. And we couldn't ask for more. It's great to be back on YouTube after a few months away. A lot of regret regarding uh, missing some big games that could have been on YouTube, but unfortunately we haven't done those. But anyway. We're back now. We're back. And um, Bracknell Town, we're coming for you, aren't we? We're coming for you. I don't know what you're on about. Us, um, what's his name? Bobby Wilkinson. Our fans are quiet. Well, today... 
we were fantastic. Probably not the noisiest all season. But anyway, enough about Bracknell. They, they don't, we don't care about Bracknell. We all we, hate really? Bracknell. We all sung that chant earlier. Yeah. <laughs> if you all hate the Bracknell, clap your hands. If you all hate the Bracknell, clap your hands. I won't say any more than that. Obviously, now it's all, it's all banter, really, with Bracknell. Um, if Bobby Wilkinson's watching this, I don't take it too serious. This is a bit of fun, but it's good to have that banter, really. But hopefully, we'll be playing them next season. But forget Bracknell, forget that. We won today. Two team back away next in the week. playoff spot. Yeah. And uh, until then, we will see you next Saturday.